to our Dallas home. I'm so excited today to share a Dallas apartment tour with you guys. We have lived in this apartment since June of 2022, and I kind of wanted to put this off until I felt like everything was absolutely finished. The more that I live here, the more I realize it is an apartment. It's never going to be perfect. And so to me, it feels cozy and warm and lived in. It's not perfect, but I really am so thankful for this home and excited to share it with you guys. We live in a one bedroom apartment in Dallas, like I mentioned. And yeah, it's been a really fun experience living in this apartment with just such a stunning view, having the balcony. And while we definitely hope to be in a home, a house next year, it's fun kind of ending our apartment era in this place. So I wanna give you guys a tour. Starting off right here, this is our little entryway section. It's pretty simple, but there are a few things that I really like that we have here. For one is this kind of key holder, bag holder, basically things that you just wanna grab before you head out the door. I believe that this is from Urban Outfitters. We've had this since our old apartment and I really like it. It's been a good fit for this place. Also have a full length mirror. I believe this is from At Home. It's nice to kind of check out your outfit before you head out the door. This is a monthly calendar that if you guys watch the monthly resets, I do like a whole kind of family calendar each month and just put important dates and everything on there. And then this is something that's probably one of my favorite things in our apartment. It's just this sweet little bulletin board that I'll probably go through the photos every few months or so and update with some of our favorite memories. I think it's fun when people walk into our apartment just to see our family and friends and it always makes me really happy. So love that. For the kitchen, I really, really appreciate this kitchen. I really like it. It always brings me back to when I lived in New York City and I remember just having a tiny amount of counter space. And so this feels like a dream. I feel like there's just so much room to move around and cook. The black countertops are something that I used to not love. A lot of the more updated units in our building, they have like white marble countertops, but they've grown on me. I think it's kind of warm and cozy in the kitchen now. They do show dirt and streaks a lot easier, but I think they're nice along with our nice dark cabinets that also used to drive me crazy but i think that they're really nice and just a little bit different than i feel like what you see in a lot of apartments here on the countertops we just have our nespresso machine and then i also have some beans back there for the chemex i like to keep whatever mug is my favorite at the moment so right now i just have this strawberry one for spring flour my sourdough starter or chemex and then for all of our cabinets, it is really nice that we have so much cabinet space in this kitchen. So just have all of our bowls and cups. I do like to keep our always pan out because I just think it's cute to leave there. And then we also have our baking cabinet that's a little bit chaotic. It's not perfect. It used to be a lot cuter in our old apartment, but they just don't all fit in this one. So they're a little bit all over the place in there. Got some extra water bottles. And we have all of our Tupperware and everything there. This is actually a wreath that I got from Home Goods, and then I added some dried eucalyptus and some flowers in there. I originally just had this up for, I think a baby shower, but I kind of like leaving it there. Here's our pantry. Again, this is not my ideal pantry situation, but it's still a storage nonetheless. And so I do appreciate having all this space. We have just our food there, nuts, oats, some supplements, cash and stuff. And then it is nice having all this extra space up here too. It's just not super convenient to reach, but we have a step stool, so it works out. And then these kitchen bar stools are from Facebook Marketplace. You're gonna find a pattern throughout our apartment that we have lots of Facebook Marketplace finds because you can really find such good stuff. And these are originally from our house, our house. I'm not totally sure how to say it, but I know that their stuff is pretty pricey. So we really like these and they just match so well with all the darker wood. And then here's our kind of dining section. I love this table and this is actually a Facebook Marketplace find. You will find a theme throughout this video that we have so many Facebook Marketplace finds because you can really find such great stuff. And again, this is something that you could totally paint and sand and stain and do whatever you want with, but we just left it plain. I really like the light wood on it. These placemats, I believe are from Home Goods. And then I always like to have some sort of like fresh flowers in our apartment. I think it really just adds life to the place. And you'll see we have a lot of just plants and flowers. I find it makes it really happy. This little fruit bowl is also a new addition. This is from Anthropology. I think the butterfly on it is really sweet. And then these chairs are from Nebraska Furniture Market, but I have found that these chairs exist at a lot of different stores. I think they're just a really popular style and they were super affordable too. And then this rug is actually from Rugland in Dallas. We love that place. They have so many good rugs and it was nice because they actually custom made it to fit the size of this table and we really like it. In this closet by the kitchen, we also just have our washer and dryer, which 
again, going back to my New York City days, this is something that I'm never gonna take for granted because it still feels like a luxury. I know most apartments in Dallas have washers and dryers, but again, in New York, that was not the case. We use this for a lot of storage too. We have our washing sub. I have the washing detergent powder that we use and then some wool dryer balls too that we'll use. Our tennis rackets up there, reusable bags, a bunch of other stuff right here. It's kind of a catch-all, but I recently did a little bit of organization in here and I feel like it does look better. And then right here by that closet, we just have a painting by Aiden's dad. Most of the artwork in our apartment is by his dad because he's just a phenomenal artist. And then heading over to our living room, this is definitely my favorite spot of our apartment, especially with just the windows. I wish I could show it from that direction, but it's too backlit. It is just so cozy in here. Really, really love the space and love all the light we get here. I think that the main attraction of our apartment is probably this giant fiddle leaf tree. As you can tell, it is not necessarily thriving. She definitely has some brown leaves, but we have had this since we first got married like two and a half years ago. And the fact that she's still standing, I feel like it's an accomplishment. And I really hope that we can bring this to our future house one day. It just seems like kind of a fixture in our home and really, really like that. Our TV console is from Castlery. I really like kind of the more mid-century look. I think it shakes things up a little bit. And then on top of that, we just have our TV. I really like this lamp. This is a world market find that I recently picked up a little photo from our wedding. And then over here I have one of our many plants that's just in a basket right there. Another thing that I love in our apartment is our couch. I love how giant it is. It is such a large sectional. We got this from Weir's Furniture or Wears Furniture. I'll try to link it down below. I don't think it's something that you can buy online, but I love this couch because it's actually pretty affordable for such a large sectional. It is quite loved. I mean, you could see that the cushions are pretty worn in, but I have been wanting to get it professionally cleaned for a while. Cash does spend a lot of time on our couch, and so it is definitely worn, but I still think it looks relatively nice for what it is. This pillow is from Home Goods. This lamp right here is from At Home, and then this piece of art is from an antique store in Dallas. Our coffee table is from Stacy's Furniture. I believe it was from the outlet. I really like just the light wood on it. We have a few of our favorite coffee table books on there. Eden's a big fan of coffee table books and so I often switch them out depending on what we want. Have some flowers, a candle. I also forgot to mention that this rug is from Rugs USA. I really, really like it. I think that the pattern is really nice. I know a lot of people are scared of colored rugs, but I think it adds just a nice amount of color. As you can tell, we love color in our apartment and I think that it's still just a fun pattern. And then this little nook is also a favorite part for me because if you guys saw recently, I put in this little herb planter wall right here. And I just think it's for one, so nice to have, to have those herbs, but they're also doing pretty well. I did use a lot of them recently, so they look a little bit bare. And then also there's a pothos plant up there that I love the look of when it starts trailing down the wall. I've partly thought about actually training the vines to go throughout the wall, because I've seen people do that and I think it looks really neat. But for now, I just like how it trails and that's another one of my favorite things. As you can tell, I really like a lot of the things in our apartment. And then this chair right here is a little bit big for the space, but I know when we have a home one day, I'm gonna really appreciate this chair. It's from Castlery, super duper comfortable. Just have a blanket on there. And then this little poof right here is also from Castlery. I also love this shelving unit. This is actually from my sister-in-law, but she originally got it from Facebook Marketplace. And this is one of the things that I'm asked the most about. And I see these all the time on Facebook Marketplace. So just search rattan, rattan shelf, and I'm sure a lot of stuff will come up. And on here, I just have a bunch of our favorite kind of devotional, faith-based books. This painting that's by Aiden's dad, basically all the artwork in our apartment is by Aiden's dad because he's an artist and he's really talented. I also have our preserved wedding flowers. That was a gift from my mom and it's seriously one of the most special gifts I've ever been given. I love that so much. This little nook is also a new addition. We recently got this mirror from home goods i really like the gold on it i think it's beautiful and then i love our beautiful bird of paradise this is a new plant this little basket i don't remember where this is from but i just have it in the planter in there and then the plant stand is also from home goods i love that this adds some dimension to this corner because before it was pretty bare and this is definitely my favorite view of our apartment looking this way and so i really like that i'm not actually going to go outside for this because it'll be too loud but our balcony is again one of my favorite parts of our apartment i have a whole kind of balcony transformation video if you guys want to watch that the grass is actually just turf tiles from ikea super easy to put up very renter friendly and then our planters from etsy we have some flowers we recently put in a 
bunch of different lanterns out there. I really love how this looks at night because we also have lights strung up. It's just really nice to spend time out there when it's nice outside. The little love seat out there is from at home. It's a little bit tight out there, but it still works. It's nice. The blanket is from Amazon, I think. And then that little side table is also from at home. That's one of my favorite spaces. It has really just added so much. And I also love the view it provides when you're looking out. It's just really happy. Then you head around the corner and we have this closet right here, which I'm not gonna open because it's nothing interesting. It's just a lot of kind of utility stuff and it's also not super organized. So we're just gonna leave that closed. Then we come into our bedroom. This is the space that I really didn't do much to. We haven't really changed a lot in here. It's very simple and it's kind of a storage unit with that chair chilling over there. And I really wanted to wait to do this video until I finished our bedroom, but it is March, our lease is up in June, and so there's just not a lot of reason to change this. It is really nice having just a very simple and peaceful bedroom. One of the things that I love the most in here though is our bed. Our bed frame is from Rove. It's definitely kind of a cloud-like, low-profile bed, and this was definitely a splurge. I tried to get the soft frame bed frame that a lot of people had and had a terrible experience trying to order that, and so I just got this one, and it's awesome. I know it's gonna be a piece that we're gonna have for a long time, and it really does feel like a cloud. And for our bedding, these pillows right here are from Target. They're the Casa Luna line, I really like them. This one, I believe, is Home Goods. Our duvet cover is from Amazon, I will link it. We also have linen sheets from Casa Luna on right now. I also really like Brooke linen sheets too. Their core sheet sets are really nice, but I switch between those and the linen ones just whenever we're switching out to have fresh sheets. And so those are the ones that we have on right now. And then this blanket is from Bowl and Branch. It was also kind of a pricier item, but I really like it. And it's really comfortable if I just want to hang out in bed and don't want to take off all of the covers. It's nice just to throw that on. I also just turned on our bed light. That's another thing that I really like behind the bed frame. I think it just adds kind of a nice cozy feel to the bedroom. And those are actually just light strips that I got from GE. So I'll link those down below along with anything else that I can find. I am a little backlit, but I really like too that we have this giant window in our bedroom. It's really nice to have that because in our old place, we didn't have a window in our bedroom and it was not fun. I also have some built-in shelves and on there I just have a plant more artwork by Aiden's dad, some of our favorite books, a photo from when we were dating. So just a bunch of random stuff, not perfectly styled, but just again, things that we like to look at and that bring us a little bit of joy. Our nightstands are from Crate and Barrel. They do have a lot of kind of water damage on them that I've been meaning to repaint, but I still like them. I think that they're nice. I also added this little picture recently because I was listening to what we said, JC Marie talking about having a hot girl nightstand which is funny, but she was mentioning how it just kind of elevates when you want water in the night to have a little pitcher. So I think it's cute. I recently added that. And then both of our lamps are from Target. I really like them. I think that they're just cute and simple. And then these are the things that I hardly ever show in our bedroom because they are not anything interesting to look at. This dresser is actually the worst thing that I've ever gotten. It's from Facebook Marketplace. You can't only have hits when you get stuff from Facebook Marketplace, you know, you're bound to have a fail. And that was a big, big fail because it's the cheapest piece of furniture I've ever had. And I just need to get someone to take it because it is the worst. Like the drawers are all broken. We have another full length mirror. That one is also from Home Goods, I believe. And then Aiden has his desk there. He works from home a few days a week every now and then. And so he has all his monitors and everything right there. And then you come into our bathroom. I love our bathroom. It is huge. It's kind of unnecessarily large, but it is really nice to be able to get ready here to have double sinks. It has a ton of storage. We also have a linen closet behind this door with a lot of our sheets and everything. And so I really appreciate this bathroom. The lighting's a little bit yellow. I have the tungsten setting on, so you can't really tell, but that is really nice to have. Up here, we have this tray that's from Target with just a bunch of stuff that we use every day, Aiden's vitamins. This little trivet is from Home Goods. I always like to keep some flowers again right here. We have a candle going. I have Aesop soap. This was actually a gift from Mikkel Jancy way back in the day, but ever since then, I've just been refilling it with regular soap because Aesop soap is so expensive. And then for our drawers, I have most of my stuff on this side. This is kind of my sink right here with just a bunch of extra stuff. My hair scarves. Have a lot of our stuff that we both use right here. Hair brushes. I have a lot of my hair tools right there. And then at the bottom, I just keep all of my makeup down there. So I'll just lift that. Sometimes I'll get ready in the living room if I want. 
And then we have some of Eden's stuff down here along with some extra kind of bathroom cleaning stuff. It is also so nice that we have a separate bathtub and shower. I've been taking so many more baths ever since moving into this place. And this is a huge bathtub. So I like to keep just some dried eucalyptus there, a candle. And yeah, I feel like this bathroom is very luxurious. It's really nice to have just such a nice separation between the shower and the bathroom. This is a tray that we had on our wedding registry. I'm not sure where it was from, just with some tissues. And then up here we have a bunch of just extra vitamins, medicine, Cash's bath stuff is right here, extra Kleenexes, that kind of stuff. And then we have our shower. One of the things that I love about our shower that we usually have is some eucalyptus right here. This one's kind of dry at this point, but when you first get it, it really adds such a nice scent when your shower gets nice and steamy. And so I really like that. I know a lot of people say theirs has gotten moldy and attracted bugs. I've never had that problem, but I also just think that it looks really nice on the shower head too. And then from the bathroom, you come into our closet, which I will say is huge. It's a really, really big closet. And I'm really thankful for that because we also kind of use this as storage. We have a lot of our Christmas decor, fall decor, clothes that aren't in season, a lot of just extra stuff up on all the shelves. It's not the absolute tidiest place in the world, but I think it's pretty decent. This side are all of my clothes, and then we have like underwear and socks right here, our laundry, and then back here we have our Dyson hanging up and just like extra hats, scarves, all that jazz up there. So I'm really, really thankful for this closet space. I feel like we do have a lot of space in here. We like literally can fit our ladder right here, which is really nice. Yeah, really, really thankful for the space. And that is our apartment. That is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really, really so thankful for this apartment. It's been so much fun living in this apartment. Our last apartment was actually in the same building, and so we really love where we live and are so thankful that we get to call this home. So I'll try to link everything that I can down below. If I can find links to everything, I will include it. But I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.